This video is to help you get to know Microsoft PowerPoint a little bit better in order to make professional and clean presentations and graphics as you work on your schoolwork. Microsoft PowerPoint presentation is an application that's really good, not just for, for presentations, but you can also use it for a lot of other things. I know I utilize it in order to create videos, not just how-tos and using PowerPoints, but actually creating a video that is fluid and has imagery and graphics and design and everything like that to it. Uh, you can also utilize it to create, I know some teachers use it to create their uh, Bitmoji classroom graphics. You can also use it to uh, edit your pictures, add a little bit more design to it and everything. Uh, but for the most part, it is a presentation tool. Because of that, it comes with many different options. So once you've opened up PowerPoint, you'll be on your opening screen where you can actually start a new presentation or open an old one. We're going to start a new one. Uh, if you don't see a theme up front that you like, you can always click on more themes and look for more. Uh, I'm going to use this floral flourish because that is a fun one. I always like that one. I like that bohemian look. And as you can see, uh, it pops up many uh, uh, different um, choices, just like you would in Microsoft Word and Excel uh, in regards to formatting text, aligning text, inserting different graphics, again, drawing your annotations, uh, you can change the design and formats of your cells as you go. This is different in the fact that you can actually transition. You can choose the transition for your slides. Right now it's at none, uh, but I'm going to go for one that I enjoy. I like page curl. And you can actually have it the same one for all of your, your uh, slides. That actually provides a uniform look to it, or you can add different ones depending on what you're trying to accomplish and everything like that. You know what's best for your craft. Your craft. Animations can help you manipulate the objects themselves. You can have them float in. You can have them uh, take on different ones like wheel and all that and just have fun with that. You can also change how they're triggered. You can either trigger them through a click or you can actually set them to a specific duration and that's how the order of which they do it. You can reorder your animations so that something comes first and something comes last. Uh, just uh, play around with your objects so that it's good for timing. So that way, if like, like for example, you had, let's see, let's add, a diff let's add a slide. We'll show you how to add a new slide. So new slide, you can add something. I've got some content here. So this is, uh, a bullet list and let's say I don't want people to see all the bullets all at once I can click on animations and I can have them uh, float in one at a time and see now you have one two three you can also uh, it's really cool when you're inserting graphics and so forth you can actually insert media so you can insert graphics such as stock images. And stock images are images that are open for the public to use in whatever means. Uh, you don't have to pay for them. You don't have to list who made it. If you're getting something from online and it's not a stock image, then you may not have permission to actually use it. So be careful about that. Uh, if you want to know about some good resources to get free stock photos that can really uh, make your presentation seem very professional and clean, uh, please feel free to email the librarian, me, Miss Stimson, uh, and I'll be happy to share that with you. So you can add stock images. You can also add media such as video. So I'm going to go ahead and add a video from the YouTube. Give it some time. Okay. And as you can see, because I added this, uh, they even, uh, it's really cool. PowerPoint now provides design ideas. So you can actually choose different formats that maybe suit your purpose better or manipulate the uh, graphic better to where you don't have to start the, like keep on trying to manipulate it. So as you can see, voila. Uh, and then 
And the cool thing is, is it actually is playable from here. So you can play it actually while you're manipulating it. Or uh, to show you some tools for slideshow, let's see, you can actually uh, begin your slideshow by clicking on slideshow and everything like that, uh, working with it, practicing times, or if you go down to the bottom, you'll see your different options for looking at your slideshow. Uh, and you can begin it this way. And see, you can also play it, your video in it. You can see your slideshow from the very beginning. Oh, see, even the birdie comes back. And there you go. So see, you can just keep on going and everything like that. You can see how it all works out for you, what appears, when it appears, playing it, everything like that. Uh, if you see something that you need to fine tune, you can click the escape key on your keyboard. It says ESC, or you can just click on the three dots and click end show uh, right where you're at. You don't necessarily have to always go to the very end of the show to get out. You can check your grammar and spelling you can even work on translating things if you need to translate something for your presentation. Uh, you can see that since I have video in here, uh, it's giving me different things I can do with the video so that it looks more appealing, how I want to do playback in the video and everything like that. Uh, just lots of different options for you to work with in order to manipulate and create a presentation that is professional, that's engaging, and just fun to use. As always, under file, you have your save tools that I recommend you do frequently, and you also have help, which can give you tips and pointers and other things that maybe I'm not able to go over, to, through, over with you in detail. This concludes the video on using Microsoft PowerPoint. Again, save your work frequently, and never hesitate to click on that little help icon.